Hello everyone, Tuvaloon here, and welcome back. We've got another Total Novice video for you today. Today we're going for the Skaven! That's right, a random wheel dropped on the rat boys, so we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. I gotta be completely honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what to expect with them. Yeah, I I'm just gonna leave it at that. I I I'm not 100% sure what to expect. But let's go ahead and see what happens. So it's just a reminder, we've removed the wheel from the actual videos, but I'm still using it behind the scenes. Hey, you guys, you guys have been awesome showing support for the videos. I really appreciate that. It's been, it's an incremental learning process for me, right? I'm just focused on the faction-based mechanics right now, but the support you guys have shown on the videos has been amazing and awesome. And I just want you to know that I appreciate you and I appreciate the time that you take to check out the videos. Now, stick around, check the video out. Let's see what happens here. You might learn something yourself. You never know. If you like the video, me or the game, you can totally give this a thumbs up and even subscribe to the channel. That would be cool, but hey, no pressure. And if you're feeling really crazy, why don't you leave a comment? Maybe two. However many you want. It's all good. We got to beat that YouTube algorithm together, right? But hey, you know what? We're all on a learning journey here. Let's continue our learning journey with the Skaven. Okay, here we go. It's the Skaven. That roll, I mean, I look. The wheel rolled Skaven. We cannot go against the wheel. Let's get her done. And look, here's the thing. I've got, you see five out of six available Skaven heroes. That's because I picked up uh, Ica Claw. Uh, where is he at? Right here. Now, my understanding is Ica Claw is what makes Skaven top dog. So we're going to jump in and use Ica Claw here. I mean, we're not going to get it deep enough into the campaign as we, as we are finding out, right? We're not going to get deep enough into the campaign to really figure out exactly what makes him top dog, but we are. Oh, we are indeed in a place of Ica Claw because I want to see this rattling gunner. So let's get it done. All right, there you go. No, it gets no, no devastation like it's it. Holy cow! I'm just not gonna say that again. All right, you know where we start. We start by learning how this whole works. So, acquire warp fuel canisters throughout your campaign to spend on new fangled upgrades to scare war technologies in the Forbidden Workshop. All right, cool. We got a Forbidden Workshop, including Doom Rockets. Hey, word on the street is those are nukes. That's what I've heard. Establish unseen undercities beneath settlements you defeat and secretly expand them to aid your malevolent schemes and spread scaven corruption. That's interesting. Okay. So an actual faction mechanic that literally uses the undergrowth or underdark, not under, this is not D&D, um, the under thing. There you go. Keep your faction's food supplies at high levels throughout your campaign to gain nationwide or faction-wide bonuses and avoid debil debilitating you know what? Uh, yeah, the last faction we tried that had food, ogres, that didn't go so well. Already, already worried. Not gonna lie. Spread Skaven corruption over extended periods. Wherever you settle to infest areas with summable, summonable clan rats and make provinces difficult to inhabit. All right. Okay. Use the underway stance to avoid obstacles on the main campaign map. All right. So that's what we hear. That's what we're seeing, all that jazz. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna go, we're gonna hit the escape button, right? As we like to do, we're gonna hit the escape button and read more. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here so that I can re read it all, give you a chance to read it. So why don't you pause, check it out. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Pretty much everything we read. We've got a workshop that we get to have fun with. We get to build settlements or take under the, take over the under empire, whatever that is. Food says, hey, when you got a lot of food, you get a big bonus. When you don't have a lot of food, you don't. And we can see what happens up here, right here, with our uh, our supply of food. And then, Skaven Corruption. So it sounds like the longer we're in a place, the more corruption builds. And as corruption builds, things get bad, but they even get bad for us. So it's interesting. I don't know if we'll be in the campaign long enough to really experience it. It's good to know. All right. We're going to throw Belenquent Marsqueak in with Ikit. Okay. Let's take a look at our rats real quick. Specifically, I want to see if there's anything bad that happens when they lose their leadership. It does not look like it. All right, cool. Cool, cool. All right. 
it get, y y you guys know the deal. When we get a level, we're going to take Route Marcher, and we're going to go down, I think, his spell casting line because he's, well, a spell caster. Yeah. Okay. That's done so far. Forbidden Workshop. The Forbidden Workshop contains multiple research divisions. Each set of upgrades improves a war machine or weapons team with a division dedicated to the construction of Doom Rockets. With enough warp fuel and food, available upgrades can be... Whoops, can be researched. Sorry, guy. Okay, so here's our Forbidden Workshop. It looks like we have types of units up here. And we can buff those types of units with the things. And it looks like the Doom Rocket... Looks like we have one Doom Rocket already. All right, giddy up. We might have to use that in the very first fight just so we can see what it does. Weapons teams. I think that's what a rattling gun is considered. I don't know if we should... Uh, I mean, let's do it, right? Let's just do it. Whatever. Okay. All right, so that was the Forbidden Workshop. Here's the Skaven Corruption. All right, so it looks like it gives us an overlay and tells us how our corruption's going. This is the province we're currently in right now, which... Would make sense as to why everything else says a low, low corruption. Okay. We get, oh, we do get rights. All right. So certain things can happen and we can do certain things for certain things. That's a lot of things. Okay. Let's do our tech. How's tech work for the Skaven? Um, it doesn't. Devious plans. I see. I have to build a building. First. All right. We're, like, we're going to do our building first. Let's first do that. And it said something about needing a a rat, uh, a rattling worm. Yeah, a rattling worm. Unlocks ferocious plans. Is that what we want to unlock? Rattling worm. Local recruitment capacity plus one. That sounds like a good idea already. As we've been playing more and more factions that kind of had these recruitment caps and that's a local recruitment but these different recruitment caps it's feeling like that's a really strong one we can go with minus 13 percent upkeep for skaven slave units which are probably our very base units what else do we have ruthless plans taskmasters platform it would give us a food a turn and i think we all well if you remember what happened with our attempt with the ogres you'll remember I underestimated food, but it doesn't matter because we can't do foods. So we're going to build that. So the Skavens do not appear to be able to start tech the very first turn. We actually have to build something to unlock it. All right, fine. Let's go to our diplomacy. Notice I'm just kind of doing this. I'm, I'm trying to build this muscle memory in my habit that I'm checking all of the same things at once. Quick deal. Does anybody want to deal with the rats? Well, I got a couple of people who are close to wanting to deal with the rats. Okay. Now, so it looks like we have a town down here, but we've got a place up here that's already building an army. Let's go for our easy kill. So this game, it could at least doesn't seem to have an easy army to kill, but he does have a settlement right next door. Let's do it. My lord, your army can bring a doom rocket to battle. An advanced weapon that truly makes you a force to be reckoned with. Only a limited number of them can be stockpiled at a time, however. So use their destructive power sparingly. All right, yeah, we're totally going to use that. Because we're going to fight this for sure. It is saying close victory, medium casualties. So we'll see if I make that better or make that worse. Menace, the menace below. What is this? Do I need to put this on somebody? Oh, I see. I can spend food to have an amount of uses for this ability. I f I'm not going to spend food right now. I'm not going to spend food right now. Just saying. Warp Storm Doom Rocket. There's the Warp Storm Doom Rocket. Yeah, we're totally going to use that. All right, let's get in here. Let's look at our units real quick, as we've always do. We've got Clan Rats. All right, they're meat shields, and it literally just says meat shield. Skaven Slaves, they're expendable meat shields, so I'm going to guess that they're just simply worse. Yeah, they're worse than the Clan Rats, so the Skaven Slaves are the Lobies. Warp Lock Gisales. Armor Piercing Missiles, Damage Dealer, and Good Range. Range of 275. I got one unit of those. 
I got two units of rattling guns. Armor piercing and anti-infantry. 145 range. And doom flares. Armored, armor piercing, anti-infantry, and they have a charge bonus. Okay. All right. We're up against three units of spears. Anti-larges, which my doom flares are the only large unit I have, it looks like. Three units of sword infantry and one unit of crossbowmen. Okay. Well, I think the crossbowmen are going to take the Gisales to the face. Let's do it. Let's hop in. Our starts just get more and more efficient, you know. Our starts just get more and more efficient. Do I want the... Yeah, I think I'm going to put the slaves in the center. And the, the clan rats on the outside. I don't know if that's a good idea. Anyway, our starts are definitely getting more and more efficient. I can tell. Hopefully you can tell. But I can definitely tell. Now, these are guns. So we're going to have to make sure that they actually have a uh, line of sight. So we just have to keep in mind they need line of sight. Let's just start it. you saw it right you saw the doom rocket that thing's legit all right well there we go we'll head back to the score screen and see how i did all right hey we got some food two food but you saw the doom rocket right yeah i mean, I, I know you saw it i know i know you saw it so do we loot and occupy do we raise for food? Mm. Let's raise for food. I don't know. Some warp fuel has been gained, my lord. The canisters of this potent concoction enable you to research improvements in the forbidden workshop. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so we're definitely getting more efficient in the game, right? Like, especially in our beginning turns. We're kind of cruising through those those early, this this early first level. Because we're just getting experience. And here's the thing. That's what you can expect in your first play as you keep playing the game as well, right? Yes, I, I get it. Not everybody is a fan of restarting over and over and over again. I, I totally understand that. I do. However, it can provide you with some sort of value, right? It can provide some sort of value. I'm going to go ahead and go with growth and minus 10% for all buildings. And boom, look at that. First turn is over. Let's go into turn two. My Lord, the forbidden workshop is ready for your inspection. It is your personal laboratory of death where new vehicle parts, weapon components, and weapons of mass destruction are prototyped and built. Okay. Huh. Your clan is the dark menace that lurks unseen, warlord. You are masters of concealment and deception, and the oblivious fools that dwell above ground shall all come to know of your power in time. You have enough warp fuel canisters to put towards a new upgrade, my lord. Do we now? Take some time to browse the different research divisions and their oh, you upgrades before choosing a new part to develop. He fibbed to me. I've only got two warp fuel. Make teams better. So. As the main power source of the Forbidden Workshop, warp fuel is critical to our research. When warlock masters win battles, or if engineers successfully act against settlements, there is a chance to receive warp fuel canisters. All right, our other guy leveled. Yeah, he leveled. We're gonna get um... so this increased mobility. Mo movement range is increased by an additional five percent. That actually sounds really, really good. We're gonna go ahead and get that. Hey, we can do a technology now. We'll do ferocious plants, local recruitment capacities. We're about to do a little bit of recruiting. Okay. Let's 
Skaven says slingers. All right, so we, we have some ranged options. So I can go ahead and get some weaker ranged options. I'd like my ranged options. We do have some clan rat options as well. And I'm thinking shielded spears. I'm thinking shielded spears. They're 50 more than regular shields. Do they have any additional? They have four more melee defense. That's about it. But they're considered shielded. And they have charge defense against large foes. 50. Let's go ahead and get of those and then that. We might as well recruit global because I feel like we got to fill our army up. We don't seem to be very thick. We're just not thick boys. You know what I'm saying? So we're just not thick boys. Let's just do the same thing here. And then we got to hang here to get our, our army going. So and one of the things I've, I've read about Skaven, right? I, I I've read is that what one strategy you can have is you grab a, a different Lord and you, you make a second army and you fill that second army with nothing but fodder. So like just fill it with slaves, Skaven slaves. So you basically have, you always have to run two armies. You run an army of fodder. So super weak stuff, but basically you're throwing a bunch of them at the enemy. And then you have the real army that's there to do the damage. I don't know how early we should start that process. I don't know how early we should start that process. Like, can we even take a town without having a second army? So that's the thing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move into turn three as I kind of think and contemplate on how quickly do you need to move with Skaven? Like, how quickly do you need to move into a second army? Feel free to drop your comments uh, in the comments. Yeah, your thoughts in the comments uh, if you have any thoughts on the matter. All right. Local recruitment capacities up. You can see income from post battle loot. Recruit rank plus two for clan rat. Okay, I think that, I feel like, is that that big of a deal? Is that that big of a deal? Although in order to get cav uh, casualty replenishment, we have to get this one. Do we care about the recruit rank of clan rats if we're going to have a second army that's really going to be provide our beef is my thought, right? Like that's, that's what I'm trying to, to think through. All right. This will fill Ickit. Next turn, he'll be full and he could go take on the city. And I think we're going to go take on the city solo solo army just to get an idea of uh of how we i mean how it goes well we don't have really a choice we might as well start this this tech we do have a right we could perform food generated three per turn this would last for five turns plus 40 growth yeah let's do it let's go ahead and do it we've got the we've got the money for it I've done a lot of, you know, research and stuff like this on Warhammer 3 and most people say don't let your money sit there. If your money is sitting there in the bank, if you if you carry a, if you carry a big bank, you're literally wasting opportunity to get stronger. So I want to do better about spending what I have. All right, here we go. Even those surface dwellers who have heard tales of the Skaven under empire regard them as little more than myths. Few know the true extent of the cities your kind build beneath the ruins of other races, devious lord. Subterfuge is amongst the greatest weapons of the Skaven. Skaven under empire. Skaven can establish their base of operation in any settlement, including those owned by other races. So when do you want to do this? Like, I mean, we're rats. So I feel like it's a thing that you want to do. I don't know if I'd say early and earlier often, but maybe it is earlier often, early and often. All right, let's go ahead and put this again. That'd be one of those things where, so this is a mechanic of the game where I'm probably just not going to be able to really get into as early as I, in a video like this, I would need to identify that the Skaven is indeed a faction. I would want to learn the game with, and then, Start learning the game with him. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, so in four turns, we'll be able to craft this, and then we could upgrade to getting more rattling guns. So let's go with some more infrastructure first. Income is like good. This has income, chance of plague spreading, defense, more control. None of those things sound bad at all. That's a really big list of things here. Spelunking holes. Or we could unlock another line of tech. Recruitment cost. Mm. Yeah, let's let's do the rubbish pit, I think. Alright. Okay. It gets maxed. So we're going to start moving. Now. Stalking. Chance of ambushing any enemy army this force attacks. Alright, well. I think we like that. We're gonna go ahead and move forward. We're gonna go after this place. It looks like they've got a lord there. The lord has no units, but there's a full army right here. This full army. Hmm, this will be interesting to see what happens. All right, here we go. We're going to go into turn five, and we're going to see what happens. This will be very interesting to see what happens. Okay. Kind burns energy. Blessed or perhaps cursed with a high metabolism. They will not fight on an empty stomach. Be sure to keep your forces fed, lest they chitter and conspire to turn on their commanders as a source of nourishment. All right. So... Known for stalking your foes, yes, okay, we read that. All right. So who is this? Vampire Coast units. Vampire Coast units. And they're currently sieged. They've currently sieged this city. And they're sieging for nine turns. Wow. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's just saying nine turns until it's... So do I... Do I wait for, do I maybe wait for her to take this? Maybe I wait for her to take that. And then while she's weakened, because she's probably going to be weakened, right? What's the garrison here? Yeah, she, she'll probably take some damage. Then I hit her. And, and maybe in the meantime, maybe in the meantime, I recruit another Lord. Maybe, maybe now's the time to recruit another Lord. Because I just, I just don't, um, all right. We have Grace here, Warlock Master. I've got a bunch of casters. Let's go with the melee guy. I mean, they sound melee-ish. Tough, plus 25 armor, plus 5 defense, or tactician. Uh, I like, I like tough. So, let's recruit this guy. All right. Now we're going to see if we can actually afford to carry two armies or not. And we're going to fill him with cheapies. We're going to like fill him with cheapies. So. I think this is, I think this is how you're supposed to do it. Oops. All right, we're going to go for two turns filling him up, and we're going to kind of wait to see what's going to happen over here with this fight. She is really, really excited over here, you can tell. She has a lot to say, but none of it makes sense, but she still has a lot to say. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into turn six because I want to see what happens at this fight here. As you can see, we continue to learn. We're getting more efficient at, at the basics, maybe formulating a little bit of strategy, a little playing smart type of type of play here we go let's go into turn six okay so she took it and took almost no damage magically bound to a number of companion pieces combine all parts of the suit and its bearer will wield great power indeed wow she she lost like no units at all and now I'm taking attrition. It feels like I'd be crazy to think. I just... All right, we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens here. We're going to see what happens. We're 
I'm gonna see what happens. I want to get an idea. I'm taking attrition, so decisive defeat. Decisive. Wow. It is not for nothing that your kind are infamous for employing the element of surprise in war. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Retreat. I hope that didn't take all of his movement, because I really want to be able to... Re all right, good. All right, I think I managed to get out of range of the garrison's ability to reinforce. Could be in a little bit of trouble if she comes out to attack. We're going to go ahead and turn, go into turn seven. We're going to see if she comes out to attack. And this unit, uh, we're going to need to get more units in there, I think. All right, let's see what happens. Turn seven. Okay, she came out to attack us. She would wipe us completely. She has a whole... So she's got a bunch of hybrid units there, huh? I'm not familiar with, um, with the Vampire Coasts. We're going to try to retreat. Oh, that was a... Wow, my retreat. That was a long retreat. She's got a second lord over there already. She's got a second... Holy cow. So am I going to have to go west? Maybe I have to go west? What do we have over here? A beastmen? Unclaimed there. Looks like beastmen are rolling through here. Blood grounds. There's blood... They got blood grounds going on over there. Okay. So... All right. Let's, um, I'm going to buy some slingers instead of just the... All right. Okay. It's two rounds. We're going to have two full armies. Uh, it gets back getting healed. Strength in numbers. Clan rat boost. Casualty replenishment boost. Food generated. Okay. All right. So here's the thing, right? We're we're seven we're seven turns in. I, I feel like I haven't done a thing. Now I think most of that is because the previous factions we've played, other than Norska, feel very active the first turn or even two turns, right? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have gone here. Maybe this would maybe Tabaro would have been a guarantee kill, and so I, maybe I should have rushed rushed the uh, Maragliano because Maragliano I think is a capital. Yeah, it's a capital. I feel like it may have been more value add than going after Tabaro. And because the Vampire Coast people were so aggressive, I've lost my opportunity at Maragliano, at least my early opportunity. But that also means I'm sitting around. I'm not getting XP because I'm not going into a fight. And so. I know there are Skaven players out there and people who know how to play Skaven, and I welcome any feedback and tips you guys have on Skaven. Because right now, I feel like I've done something wrong, like completely wrong. Like I can, I feel like I have completely misplayed the Skaven from turn one. That's how it feels. I'm gonna need y'all's help on whether or not that's the case. Let's head into turn eight and see what happens. A scheme of great and terrible destruction has been concocted by your devious engineers, my lord. Laden one with explosives and have him visit your enemy. Doom will come upon them. Why would we want to create an undercity? Yeah. All right. I mean, other than to spread corruption, which is which is what we learned. Okay, he's almost done. Then we have two full armies, and then we'll go over there and see what happens. This might be the sh the the fastest total novice video in in history so far. Growth plus ten minus five percent for Skaven slaves. And okay, this one seems like it it's definitely worth it, especially with the growth improvement. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, Lord's not moved. That's fine. All right, we are in turn nine. The tendency to fill out any place they occupy, my lord. In time, your fetid presence begins to increase disquiet. 
within a province. All right, we're in turn nine. Skaven corruption is spread wherever the Skaven settle as, as they naturally befoul anywhere they linger. Skaven corruption causes settled provinces to become less hospital over time, even for Skaven. So I just, it leads me to believe, to think that we don't sit in the same place for a very long, let's see. Corruption in a province is shown on the province info panel. High levels of Skaven corruption in a province will grant additional uses of the menace below army. So I can basically spawn rats. If a province rebels due to the effects of Skaven corruption, then Skaven uprising will occur. Okay. Well, we have two full armies. Wait. Wait. Why? Where's my... Where's my other lord? Why can't my other lord... There we go. I don't know what happened there. Pyrrhic victory is high, so we would leave, we would lose two Skaven slaves here in Ickit's army. Wow! Look at all of the Skaven slaves we would lose if we. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna look. Here's the deal: we're gonna manually fight this. Uh, I'm gonna manually fight this to see what I can manage to do here. Two armies against one. It's just this is gonna be so bad. We're gonna see what happens. And maybe I should have auto-resolved it, taken the win for what it was, and just replaced all the Skavens, because that's just the way it's played. More than likely, you guys are going to get to see this entire fight. Because, I mean, because the video's probably done after this fight, regardless, because we've probably experienced what we can experience of the Skaven this early. I mean, we're going to see what happens here. We had a minute and 57 seconds before reinforcements come in. Let's see what happens. All right, let's move all of these in, all of these rats over here, because once my reinforcements comes in, I'm hoping the Giselles will be able to pull, pull the vampires into us. I will need to figure out where in the world I'm going to put my rattling guns. I kind of, I'm kind of holding for my reinforcements. I got 35 seconds for reinforcements. Why would I, why would I? I guess here's my thought. And I'll just probably fast forward. Why would I wait? There's just no reason to wait. Like, there's just... Or, there's no reason to be the aggressor. I have all of the reason to wait. And, like, no reason to be the aggressor at all. That's what I'm thinking. All right. I see. So when I had that little gray icon there for the reinforcements, it meant that there were reinforcements still coming. Okay, so what I need to do is my spears, my clan rats. So let's go ahead, take these guys. We're going to move them here. We'll extend the line. I've got to have an alley, though, for my rattling guns. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta have an alley for my rattling guns. Alright. The warp lock Giselles. I need you to I wanna get I'm gonna get them and get 
want to get them in range because I want them to aggro the fight. Okay. So the vampires are moving, and it looks like they may actually be moving to... Oh, the vampires are already shooting at us. So my... My little, my little setup or my little plan here is taking way too much time. I have six uses of the menace below. Oh, that's going to be nifty. It look, oops, it looks like I can pop that right in the middle of their lines. All right, my rattling guns are going to need to have some sort of a a vantage point. Let's move these units up. Zales are going ham over here on this unit. I got some Skaven slaves taking fire over there. We'll see if the Doom deals are even going to be able to do a thing. There's Ikit. I wait. Now I wish I had the Doom Rocket. I'm not going to lie. Now I really need the Doom Rocket. Like... I, I need the, the Doom Rocket. Alright, Giselles are, are doing their thing. Okay. I should have put the Rattling Gunners up front. Alright, that was a mistake. That was a mistake of mine, but that's okay. We'll rectify. I think we're just going to press now. We're going to move forward. Oh, I can't move completely forward. Okay, so I'm going to move four up. Ick it. Drop some more lightning. Get my shaman dude to drop some lightning. Let's get some uh, rats below. Let's see what that does. I think that's going to be all kinds of fun. Two. Let's move this entire lineup. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at them get absolutely walloped. Okay, so we've got they're monstrous. So we're gonna get some more spears on them. I want to make. I gotta make sure my Giselles. Okay, so a lot going on here. There's a level nine lord. Let's go ahead and drop. Let's drop warp lightning over there. Let's drop some more blighting right here. Let's get some clan rats up in here. Three. Let's move our three up so that they can we can make sure they're in range. Alright, let's let's move the rattling gunners back. I wonder if I need to get the Rattling Gunners up here. Let's try to get the Rattling Gunners on the hill. Let's actually get the Giselle on the hill, too. Yeah, it gets taken some fire. Let's... No, hold the line. Don't do that. I shouldn't have done that. That was silly. Actually, let's attack from behind here. All right, how are we doing? Probably we're gonna bring. I'm gonna bring all my lords over here. All right, now let's see if we can get in behind and do some work with our our doom things here. We are not, we're not even scratching the Lord. That's insane. Wow. 
Let's get some clan rats up. We're not even scratching their lord. Okay, rattling gunners are on the hill now. And I feel like that's happiness for us. Let's get our Doom Flayers going. Gonna use our Doom Flayers to continue to cycle charge. At least that's the goal. I don't think we're doing too bad. Um, I don't, honestly. I could be completely wrong, and you guys could you guys could be like, holy cow, this is the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, we're breaking a little bit over here. Alright, do we have some melee? We do have a couple of melees that we can reinforce. So let's let's actually charge, because my melees are currently just watching all of this happen. So I lost the micro on those guys. I've got, uh, all right, where are my doom wheels here? All right, let's bring some of the, actually, no, let's bring these clan rats up. I have so many units on the field that I've lost track of a whole bunch boatload of stuff and honestly I'm kind of breaking my lines moving these guys around like this but uh yeah where are my doom wheels oh let's get them out let's get them out all right let's send these guys back in on the monsters Let's bring up some clan rats, because this is a fun little spell. That's kind of hilarious that I can just do that. All right. This warlock engineer is going to die. I got to try to figure out how to get him out of there. If I even can. All right. I'm keep using the doom, the, the doom thing. All right. So I got some rattling guns with plenty of ammo. Looks like no targets. Let's move them up to attack these guys. Rattling guns here with no targets. Let's actually move them up to attack them. Let's move these three slingers up to attack with this melee to support. My doom guys, I want my guys to run in the back of the... Alright. Let's... We're gonna drop some lightning over here on these on these monster units. All right, we holy cow, we did it! We did it! We did it, and I think I think I did okay. Like. I, I'm, do I need to, st you know what? I need to stay in here and clean things up though, don't I? I feel like I need to stay in here and clean things up. Or do my best to clean things up, but let's not. For the sake of everybody. We're going to save this replay. Should just show you what I do here. Boom. And we're going to end the battle. Let's go, let's go take a look and see how well we did. Okay, so if we would have auto-resolved that. If we would have auto-resolved that. We were going to lose a boatload of our Skaven slaves. We are gonna we're gonna lose a boatload of our Skaven slaves up top here. And we were going to lose like one or two down here. It looks like we know we lost we did not lose one full unit. So all of our units are actually still here. And we I mean we would have completely wiped them last time, so there's gonna be a little bit left. But hey, I think we did pretty good. Let me know how well you, you think I did. Because I'm kind of curious on whether or not I played that okay. I'm 100% there's places where I could have done better. I, I do understand that. I could have microed a thousand times better. But let me know how I did. 
you know, was my strategy sound of, of waiting for my real army, my reinforcing army to come in and, and then start the fight when I had all my units on? I know that was a little boring to wait, but I'm just curious what your thoughts are because, well, almost every single one of you have more experience than I do in the game and probably even in Skaven. Okay, do we want to get a thousand gold or do we want to replenish? I kind of want to replenish because I kind of want to chase. Let's replenish because I want to... I, oh, you know what? I won't have moved to chase and finisher. I wanted to move to chase and finisher, but. Oh, I'll have movement with you. But not ick it. Well, let's, let's still do it. We should be able to auto resolve this chase. Oh, no movement anyway. Okay. Well, all right. There it is. So I feel like. Honestly, I feel like this is like a legit place that we can kind of stop with Skaven because the biggest thing that we we just we can't we're not going to be able to learn in 60 minutes is the whole under and the under empire thing, or at least not with understanding things more. Right. So how do I compare Skaven with the others that we've tried so far? I feel they're very soft and they're very weak. Which means they're going to require two armies to move with at all times. The food thing didn't become too much of an issue, but again, I haven't played very long. The jury's still out because I didn't really get to mess with the Under Empire thing and how that can really propel them. I'd put them ahead of Ogres. The poor Ogres are going to just take a beating in my book. Would I put them ahead of Norska? Here's what I need to know. Uh, so my Norska playthrough, things were very slow at the very beginning, like super slow at the beginning. But I like the Norskan units. I like the Skaven ranged units. They're really cool. They're fun. Yay. But but they don't have any beef to them. And I'm just, my mind tactically thinks about, about having a, 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 stal, a, or a, a stalwart or a steadfast line with support rather than Swiss cheese uh, as a front line. And it, basically glass cannon. There we go. Skaven feels like they play as a glass cannon. Norska feels like they don't have a cannon, but they're not glass. <laughs> if that makes sense. So I don't know. I'd say Tomb Kings are still number one. For sure. They're number one. Uh, what? I think I had I think I had um, Empire and Nurgle kind of tied. I like Nurgle's mechanics. I like the Empire's unit compositions. Then, well, then there's Norska and Skaven, which could be interchangeably. But I think Skaven could be interesting to learn because of the uh, the different mechanics they have. So this is a very early look, right? A very early look at Skaven. We didn't get into the Under Empires, but the Doom Workshop is kind of cool. And of course, the Doom Nuke. I mean, you know, who doesn't want to play with a Doom Nuke? So I guess if we're going to play Skaven, we just have to accept we're going to run around with multiple armies until we get good enough to not have to run around with multiple armies. Or maybe you always have to. Maybe that's part of the play style, like Tomb Kings. Since we did our Tomb Kings thing, I've done some reading and 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 through some comments and learning a little bit about the Tomb Kings. You kind of have to run with two armies with Tomb Kings as well. Very similar to Skaven here. The difference is, at least from what I can tell, is that the Tomb Kings have some stronger frontline units in the way of constructs that would probably fit my tactical mind a little bit better than Skaven. Okay. That was a very long, drawn-out way of saying that the Skaven are above Ogres, but not exactly in my top three. Not right now. So, we're going to call it a wrap on this episode, right? Because uh, we kind of got to experience a little bit, and a really big fight, and the Doom Rocket, and all of the cool things. I do appreciate everybody sticking around, and I hope you learned something from the video. Again, every time I do one of these, I'm learning a boatload, right? Because I'm getting to play with a faction, so I'm learning a lot. I'm hoping you're learning something. But if you're not, and you're just here to hang and chill with me in the background, that is totally cool as well. Remember, you could always drop a thumbs up and a sub if you like the video. Feel free to leave any feedback at all. Comment this sucker away and tell me how bad of a Skaven player I am. Or maybe I did something right. I don't know. But I am very curious on your thoughts on Skaven. Until the next one, stay safe and stay healthy. Goodbye, everybody.